Hey, welcome to this little teaser video. Uh, it's December 31st, 2023. And I know a lot of people have been wondering, hey, you haven't seen anything on Facebook or anything on any social media. Part of it's because December for me normally is a bit of a hard month. People who know me personally know why it's a bad month. But December 2023 got a lot worse. Um, started the month off by being... Hey, I, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, didn't we already see the teaser video? Well, if you did see it, you're one of the few who did. But apparently I made a comment there that offended some people. So I've had to remove that video. So I had to start over again. Now, I'm not going to start the whole video over again. I'm just going to start this little intro. Hey, I'm not dead. The reason why I'm not dead? Well, as most people know, December is not a good month for me emotionally. Uh, December 15th, the anniversary of my mother passing away. The 20th would have been her birthday. Boxing Day is the worst day of the year for me because that's the anniversary of my father passing away, which I still take very personally and hard. And of course, I haven't been working. So when you're not working and you have no heat, you don't post a lot of stuff on Facebook. And now that I've done this redacted version, let's get back to the original video without the comment that made someone upset. The fact that that person watched my video is amazing because, hey, no one watches this channel except you, my friends, who were worried about me. So let's get back to the video, which basically means financial difficulties for the entire month of December and going forward because I have no income right now. So December has been plagued with, apart from the emotional stuff I deal with every year, has now been plagued with, I'm not working. Which also led to me making some decisions, such as turning my heat off to save money. And unfortunately, when I did that, I didn't realize I had a bronchial infection, which turned into pneumonia, which I'm still dealing with today. It's not the worst pneumonia I've ever had, but this is three weeks, so it's the longest lasting. But this is the first day in this entire month that I can speak and not be too much out of breath. <sighs> that and uh, because of the situation financially with work, which I won't go into too many details for obvious reasons, uh, I've also been starting to look for work. And as you know, December, when you're an old white guy, not easy to find a job, and so I'm still be looking. I have enough funds to pay for January and February's rent. But if I'm not working by mid-February, uh, there's going to be some issues. Either way, I did manage this week, the first week in a long time, to feel a bit better. So uh, I spent a couple hours every day working on the On The Peg studio, which I talked about. And I managed to get the stuff I need to get out of it, except for a few things. And I managed this week in the past two days, even though my lungs have been killing me every time, like right now I'm about to pass out. I was able to finally get the On The Peg Studio sort of set up. It's not finished. It's not what I originally planned. Originally, I planned to have display cases, a much better camera. But, you know, when you have no income, you make do. So I decided to do a couple things different than I originally planned. So, for example, you might remember these guys. My mini Marvel Legends, or the Marvel Universe guys. I kept on saying if I get 100 likes, I would open one up. But no one's ever going to like my videos a hundred times. There's no way this YouTube channel will ever be monetized. So I figured, what the heck? I haven't seen them in a while. Let's put them on the wall. I'm not finished because I still have <laughs> more to put up and a certain amount of wall space. I'll give you guys a bit of a teaser, though. I do have a lot of toys that aren't just DC Multiverse to review. The ones down there are open boxes. But, of course, I decided to pull out some of my toys that are on display. And if you recognize these guys, that's pretty good. And I've also decided to forego uh, getting the shelves and displays because I don't have the money for it. And originally I was going to make this a on the pig studio and a painting studio because my daughter used to have her office in here and she would paint in here. That's why I don't feel so bad about putting holes in the wall because I'll have to repaint and fix the walls when I leave anyway. Or after I die, whoever moves in here, I'm like, we'll have to do that. <laughs> I just feel like I'm dying, okay? That's all. But I decided to, you know, in the meantime, I have this big blank space. I finally put up some posters. But the real teaser is this. The new. Oh, I, I got to sit down for this. <gasps> Look, it's the new On The Peg backdrop. That's right. And no, it's not the same backdrop as season two. That's actually still in place. You might still see it from time to time when I am filming um, the new mood to stand. But now I could sit. And as a teaser... Uh, I even started putting the stuff I have, because this wall eventually will be filled up with all the empty packages. But in the meantime, it's a teaser of 
some of the stuff that you will be seeing eventually. And uh, <coughs> <coughs> more talking than I normally do lately. And I will tell you one thing. If you are a toy collector and you want to do a YouTube channel and you can't afford soundproofing because your neighbors are loud, use your packaging. You'd be surprised, since I've got this set up today, how much noise this canceled from the neighbors. The crying baby. I can't hear it right now. If I go downstairs, I can hear it. Here? <sighs> noise canceling packaging. It also makes for a cool backdrop that you don't see too often. <clears throat> I don't know if you're wondering, yes, I still have the On the Pig house. La la la. And that's a teaser for the first episode we're going to be doing. It's going to be an Aquaman special. And if you're asking, no, I haven't seen the movie. Can't afford to go see the movie, but I bought the toys beforehand. So we will be reviewing the toys. And it's going to be a special. We're doing all the Aquaman 2 toys <laughs> in one episode. And that's not necessarily just part of the... Uh, I said there'll be some changes to On the Peg Season 3. A bit of a format change. We're going to be doing one episode a week. So apart from this teaser, there'll be one episode this week. One episode the week after that. So you might get more than one toy in an episode. It's just that I don't want to go through the hassle of filming four or five things in one week and trying to rush them and just making it worse for myself. But yeah, but uh, there's also some toys that I missed uh, in this past month because, well, when you have no money coming in, you miss out on some things. Like, for example, I did not was not able to get the variant for Firestorm, Hawkman, or Sinestro. So that's going to be a toy hunt for me to try to track those down eventually. Even though my buddies at GameStop told me they've already been sold out here in Ottawa. So it'll be a hunt. Once I'm working again and I have money coming in again, that's going to be a hunt. Another reason why I put the Marvel Universe is up. Because worst case, come February, if I'm not working, I'm going to start selling those guys. You know, it's it might be enough to pay for the month of March. Let's just put it that way. I also made a couple other changes. For example, Jack now has a spot where he can sit. There's Jack. Hey, Jack, say hi. So Jack now has a spot where he can sit and be by the window and uh, meow at me when I'm filming. Hi, buddy. What's up? What? You want to be on camera? What's up? Huh? I know. Poor Jack's been freaking out the past two weeks as I've been taking my niece's stuff out, except for the closet, which is now full of her clothes. And I'm not joking. I can't open the closet door without being avalanched by all her clothes. <sighs> it's amazing. 18 year old now I wish her well but she's moved to Montreal so I still have a lot of her stuff here as storage for now eventually she'll hopefully move all of her stuff out and I'll be able to have access to that closet to store more toys of course but uh, no I'm not dead uh, I'm a bit tired emotionally financially I'm stressed uh, work wise <laughs> I'm job hunting so it's uh, one of those things where hopefully January 2024 will be a better year for me and that's pretty much it. I'm not dead. You'll be seeing this um, probably around, I don't know, maybe 11.30 tonight. The last video of 2023. Me basically just doing a, an update that I'm not dead. Just emotionally drained. Uh, physically, <laughs> I'm not doing well. I can taste the phlegm in my mouth right now. It's not tasty. No, no, no. It's disgusting. <sighs> but, you know, that's what happens when you cut back on certain things like, well, heat. This is the most lights I've had on in the entire month. I don't normally have this many lights on. I normally just keep the light on in one room. Uh, and if I'm watching TV, it's just the TV. <coughs> but I figured, eh. You know, I just finished spending... Today was uh, about 10 hours in and out of the room, taking a couple of breaks to, you know... Almost passed out on the couch, cough up a lot of phlegm, hear Jack meow at me, and of course, it took me a while to decide if I was going to film this or not. Yeah, Jack wants attention. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you uh, like the new setup. It's not just me standing in a wall. I won't be stepping in Jack's food anymore, which I'm sure he's happy about. But yeah, it's the new wall. Uh, on the page, season one had the, more, the legendary characters. Season two had the well, season one also had the Marvel wall and a few other toys. Season two had the DC Multiverse picture packages. These are the art ones. And before you ask me, no, there's no rhyme or reason to how I put them up. I just bought the boxes up and I put them on the wall. 
I mean, there are some that are pretty cool. There's even one that I can't stand. It's horrible as all heck. That's why it's up in the corner. You'll probably never see it. But it makes for a great soundproofing wall. I now have a desk to sit at where I can show you the toys. I still need to get a revolving thing because I want to get one. But need I say more? I didn't spend the money on one. Then I haven't found one yet. So when I'm working again, one of the first things I will do on Amazon is buy one of those spinny things. And as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but I do have toys that aren't just DC Multiverse because one of the people who watches my show said, you just watch, you just do DC Multiverse. Well, I don't, okay? We have some NECAs. We have some other stuff, some old Marvel Legends, Witcher, Mark Farland stuff. I even have a Marvel Legend that was gifted to me. Mostly because this person wants me to torture Lowry. Yes, someone gifted me another Eternal. But no, Lowry will not be tortured. I will probably... I don't know. Open that up eventually with a bottle of scotch. And, ugh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the life. Uh, so thank you, by the way, to uh, she who wishes to remains anonymous. Uh, basically someone at work uh, who gave it to me. Well, not from this work, but from a place that I go to when I thrift. Hint, hint, Sally Ann. The employee there gave it to me because no one was buying it and she was buying some books at the end of November, and she goes, do you want this? I said, okay, fine, and she gave it to me. Didn't charge me for it, just gave it to me. So thank you to her. Uh, she did watch the show, so she, she kind of knew that I was doing reviews, so she goes, hey, you might want to review this. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, eventually working again so I can buy more toys and tracking down the missing ones. Uh, but that's life. I hope you all have a very happy New Year's Eve. I hope you have a good holidays. And I hope that 2024 will be better for me, but also much better for you. Uh, thank you for watching on the peg. Thank you for liking the videos, making comments once in a while. And thank you for sharing. And like I said, uh, I, I hope you guys are going to like the new format. I know I'm actually happy with the new background. It's a lot more comfortable. Uh, I do have better lighting as well, but I'm not going to use that for this video. This is just me doing a handheld. Yay! <coughs> and I won't be doing any voices for a while. So the guest host probably won't be on for a bit because <coughs> I'm not over this yet. <coughs> Ugh, that's gross. But uh, as soon as I'm feeling better, then of course I'll be inviting the guest host in again. And the other nice thing about this is that I might do other things than just toys in here. I might start doing retro comic book reviews, which I talked about ages ago. It would make sense to do comic books in a room like this. Now, eventually the goal is when I have enough funds and I'm working a nice steady job yet again, the goal is eventually to turn my basement where my work office is or where I write my poetry and do some other things, to turn that into a proper studio, like a major size studio with shelving and so forth. Because right now it's a mess. Uh, some of you have seen some of the pictures I have. I have some shelving, but not enough for all the books and nowhere near enough for all the toys. No. But eventually I want to turn that basement area into a literally studio for comic book reviews, toy reviews, anything else I want to film. But that's pretty much it for now. <coughs> I'm going to go cough up a lung. Oh, God. Ugh. Now, I don't mind feeling tired. It's just the taste of it. <coughs> and the temperature swings, but yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go put this on the computer. So you probably won't see this till <coughs> right before midnight. So if you're watching this thing, Jack, what are you doing? Okay, Jack and Duke are being weird. Duke's at the door looking sad. Look at Duke. Come in. Come on in. There's Duke. Duke, as I've been saying, has been also acting weird the past couple of days, especially today. Every time I bought something up from the basement to put in here, this is what he's been doing. Getting in the way. But when you have a 10-year-old giant puppy, you love him anyway. But that's it. Once again, uh, I hope you have a wonderful evening. And there's 10 seconds left. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year. All the best to you in 2024. And we'll see you then. If I don't die.